Go back. No, dumb man video. Dumb man, the man with the plan again. This time, I'm gonna watch another video. My brother said how, like, my audio is weird. It should be better now. Okay. Fight some little sister. He lives to regret it. It's kind of dumb. So, uh, TikToker risk his life for views. I want to see him end up by getting a head injury. Nah, kid breaks in the haunted mansion. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can we please have a scary movie night soon? No Thanks. one likes scary movies yeah. except for you, Ari. Well, no one was talking to you, Marley. I was asking Lana. No one was asking to you. I'm talking to Lana. <laughs> Cletus. Mrs. Cletus is here. With the overalls. Old, long, tall lady, tall teeth, tall student lady is here, and her sister is here. Let's see her get abducted. Yeah! Whoa, what's that place? That's the old Wiggins house. <gasps> it gives me goosebumps every time I look at it. You don't really believe that old ghost story, do you? Wait, what story? It's some made-up story. I doubt it's true. Actually, let's just go find out for ourselves. Follow me. Oh, no! You guys, this is the spooky moment. What are you doing? This is private property. She's breaking it's into fine. someone's no, house. It's here. That's alive, at least. <laughs> There's gotta be a key in here. I'm gonna try to get it open. Ari, stop. You're gonna break it. Can you relax? I'm not gonna break anything. Break the window. Who lived here? Mrs. Wiggins was this old, old 30-year-old. My great, 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 Grandpa and Grandma used to live here. We used to have a time eating popcorn until we figured out that she died a couple centuries ago. A couple th generations ago. And then I... This weird witch lady that used to stay here a long time ago. A group of kids used to make fun of her, and she'd cry every day. Until one day, those kids went into her house and never came back out. Everyone thinks she had something to do with it. She did have something to do with it! Who knows? The case was never solved, and eventually she passed away. But people claim they can still hear her crying as they walk by the house. And some claim to have even seen her through the window. No way. This sounds like something out of a scary movie. <laughs> yeah, a really bad, super cheesy scary movie. It's not even true. How do you know? Look, I'm a horror and haunted house expert. I know a fake story when I hear one.
Plus, Mr. Nightmare has never talked about this place on his YouTube channel. If it was true, he would have totally jumped on it. Who's Mr. Nightmare? He's a huge horror YouTuber that reviews haunted houses. I watch all of his videos. See how Well, maybe he missed this one. I mean, haven't you guys been feeling cold since we got here? You're right. I have been feeling kind of... kind of cold too. Oh gosh, Lana, now she's got you scared too? There's nothing here. Let's go check the back. <laughs> Marley, what's wrong? noise was you stepping on this okay but i saw a shadow run by just now i swear come on stop playing games you're just trying to scare everyone <sighs> hello is anybody in there mrs wiggins come out and get us <laughs> see nothing i'm leaving it's getting late we should go you guys are seriously this scared? There's gotta be a way to open that lockbox. Let's go back tomorrow. No way. I'm not coming back here. Come on, it'd be fun. You know what? <laughs> we should stay the night here. That's definitely not happening. Isn't that your guys' mom on the flyer? She's the one listing the Wiggins house? This is the best news ever. Now we have a way of getting inside. Let's go. Oh! 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 You sure you saw mom go upstairs? Yeah, she's taking a shower. What are we doing in her office? Office, anyways. We're looking for the lockbox combination. I know what's in here. We just gotta find the right folder. Ari, we shouldn't be doing this. You know how mom is about us coming in her office. Just be quiet and help me look. Or at least stand watch at the door. No, I don't want any part of this. I'm leaving. <sighs> Whatever, just, just go. Where is it? <sighs> client that wants to see the house. Oh, that's excellent news. Ah. <laughs> uh I see. Well, tell the buyer that I think he's going to be very interested in this opportunity. <laughs> the haunted house story, yeah, I know. I mean, I do have to disclose that information. I mean, she died in the home. You know, we just can't prove that the kid did. So, there's that. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you just tell them that it's 25% less expensive because of all those rumors. So, they should actually be happy about them. Bingo.
Hi, Roger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just give me a sec. Oh my gosh, you nearly gave me a heart attack. What's that? This is the key to us spending the night in the Bacon's house. Pun intended. What do you mean, us? There's no way I'm breaking into some ghost's house tomorrow. And you shouldn't either. Mom's gonna find out. You know what she always says. What happens in the dark it always comes to light. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it a million times. times. Ari, I'm serious. If you don't come with me tomorrow, I'll tell mom you have a crush on Brian from school. Then she'll never let you hang out with him again. He wouldn't. Are you sure about that? That's what I thought. Now I'm going upstairs. Mr. Nightmare has a new video dropping in 10 minutes. Happy nightmares. Okay, let's go over this one more time. You and I are staying at Lana's house tomorrow. Mom knows Lana's parents are out of town and her grandpa will be watching us, so she won't try calling. How do we know she won't call Lana's grandpa? Or that her grandpa won't catch us? She's not gonna call someone she's never talked to. And her grandpa's 80 years old. He goes to bed at eight. And after he does, we'll sneak out. I don't know about this, Ari. Oh, come on, Marley. Can't you just live on the edge for once? Ah, uh, come Hey! Hey! Just seeing when you guys were leaving. Um, in 15 minutes. What's with the flashlights? Uh, we're gonna have an indoor camping night with Lana, and of course, I will be in charge of ghost stories. Ooh. Oh boy! Okay, well, have fun, and uh, tell Lana's grandpa I said thanks for watching you guys. We will, Mom. Okay. Man, that was close. Yeah, too close. Listen, Ori, let's just call this whole thing off. I have a bad feeling. We could just go to a wagon house with Mom. I'm sure she'd love to see it. But that takes all the fun out of it. Stop being such a scaredy cat and come on. Fine. I'll just tell Mom about Brian. Oh, Mom! Shh. Fine. I'll go. That was too easy. Make sure you don't lose the keys. Why aren't the lights working? No one's lived here since Mrs. Wiggins passed away. Who do you think is going to pay the power bill? I don't think this is a good idea. Can we please just get out of here? We're fine. This is what the flashlights are for. See? It's safe and sound. Now, let's go look around. We can leave our backpacks here. Probably. Wow. She does look kind of scary. Hey, let's go to the basement. That's her most... So the ghost activity happens. That's the last place we should go. Relax. There's nothing actually happening here. <gasps> what was that? I don't know. Let's get out of here. No. <laughs> We're fine. I don't hear anything now. Old houses can make noises sometimes. That was pretty loud, though. Don't freak yourselves out. There's no one here but us. 
Look, the door's open, so it's just the shutters. No supernatural activity here. I don't think the shutters can make that loud of a noise. Maybe the wind knocked something over. If this is already freaking you guys out, you wouldn't survive a minute in a real haunted house. Uh, who says we'd want to? Okay, let's go find Mrs. Wiggins' room then. I'm sure her ghost is just waiting for us. <laughs> don't choke around like that, it's not funny. This must be her room. Okay, we've seen it. Now let's go. <sighs> All this stuff is vintage. Ari, put that back. That's stealing. The stuff has been here for like a century. It's not like Mrs. Wiggins will miss it any. <laughs> How did that door just close? Calm down. It was probably just the wind. Oh, this house is freaking me out. Put the bracelet back. Are you leaving? Guys. What'd you find? Uh, a book of spells. So the rumors of her being a witch are true? Let me see that. This actually looks legit. It must be true. Why else would she have a book of spells? Please, please just... Well, I have a book of spells and I'm not a witch. Or am I? <laughs> Stop playing. Do you hear that? Hear what? Listen. about Marley. I can't open it. <sighs> We're trapped, aren't we? The door wasn't locked when we came in. That means there's someone else in the house. show the Wiggins house to a huge client tomorrow and when I went to go look for the file it was missing I drove myself crazy trying to find the file and then I took a little break did some laundry and then I went to go put your socks away Ari and what do you think I found in your sock drawer the Wiggins file and then I thought to myself why would Ari have this file and that's when I decided to call Lana's grandpa Oh, no. Oh, yes. And what do you think he said? That you girls were not with him. So then I thought, where are the girls? And then I remembered the camping equipment. And I put two and two together. I took a little drive to the Wiggins house, and here you all are. So I decided to have a little fun.
But I don't understand. Why would you try to scare us like this? Well, that's why you came here, isn't it? No, that's not why we came here. We're trying to work on a local history project. Yeah, yeah, every lie that you say is gonna be another month added on to you being grounded. So I would choose my words very wisely if I were you. I wanted to prove to Marley and Lana that the house actually wasn't haunted. When I found out it was one of your listings, I took the code to the lockbox so we could come inside. You know this little stunt could have cost me my job? And more importantly, your lives? What were you thinking? I don't know. I didn't think you'd be that big of a deal. That big of a deal? You lied to me. You lied to Lana's parents and you lied to Lana's grandpa. We're really sorry, Mom. Really sorry. We're Molly tried to tell me it wasn't a good idea, and I didn't listen to her. Well, you should have listened to her. You're both grounded for two months, and Lana, I'm gonna call your parents. Uh, please, don't be mad at them. I made everyone do it. You can add their months to mine. We can talk about this later, okay? I have to prepare for tomorrow. I have a very important client coming to see this house. Like, a celebrity? Yeah, it's like a big YouTuber. Mr. Scary or something? Mr. Nightmare? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna shoot some video here. Oh, what? Uh, you're meeting Mr. Nightmare here tomorrow? Mom, you have to let me come with you. I love Mr. Nightmare so much. I'd love to actually meet the guy. Uh, not a chance. You're grounded. If you wouldn't have snuck out in the middle of the night, lied to me, and come here, you could have come with me. What do I always tell you? What happens in the dark always comes to light. Yeah, I know. Well, maybe you'll learn it this time. All right, let's go. Wait, so if Mr. Nightmare's coming tomorrow, then this house must be haunted after all. Wow. I guess you're right. Do you think the house is actually haunted, Mrs. Williams? I don't really believe in that stuff, really, but I guess we'll see, won't we? <laughs> Ooh, maybe I should dress up at Mrs. Wiggins tomorrow and give Mr. Nightmare a run for his money. <laughs> Mate, I'll be back in two hours to pick you.